Hi everyone, this is Amy with the Ralston Chamber. Today I am visiting Ground Zero. Ground Zero is located in downtown Ralston and they have tons of great things. If you've not been in here yet, you have got to check it out. I have my mask on. Welcome to Ground Zero. Hi Andrew. Hi. Let me shut the door here. <laughs> Look at all your cool stuff. Yeah. My goodness. Okay. Well, just in case um, uh, some people around or that watch this video don't know um, where you're located, let's just start off with that. <laughs> okay, so, like the address? Yeah. Yeah, we're 5710 South uh, 77th Street. Located in great downtown Ralston. Yeah, yep, right across from Small Engine Repair, down the street from Maria's. If you know the village, right next door to the village area, <laughs> to that building. Awesome. Well, good. Well, um, you have a bunch of stuff in here. Okay, people, this is pretty intense so and overwhelming for me. So I'm going to learn a lot with you today. Andrew's our guy that's going to talk about it. So um, why don't you just tell us about, a little bit about your business to start with, Andrew. How long have you been in business? I know you've been in business longer than you've been in Ralston. So let's yeah. start there, too. Um, we unfortunately can't remember exactly how old the business is. We have <laughs> two owners. It's probably been about 20 to 25 years. Okay. Uh, we've been in Ralston for almost three years now. Yes. And yes. And we like it here. It's a much nicer neighborhood than South mm -hmm. Omaha. Well, we love having you in Ralston. It's a great addition to our area. So, very good. Well, let's just start and talk about all the cool things that you have. So, um, uh, so we can tell people, kind of give people a little bit of a tour about everything. Where would you like to start? Okay. Well, our primary things we do are, of course, Funko figures, and they are all over the store. Okay, so and that's what these are, right? Uh, we mostly have Marvel here, uh, larger figures there, and then all right, all the other. <laughs> well, Star Wars is its own section, and the other down. Oh, okay, so the, the is it Funko? Funko, yeah. Okay, Funko the, we yeah. We do a lot of statues and. Uh, oh, look at all those cool ones. Things like that. Yeah. The gallery ones are fantastic. They're uh, vinyl, so Which, they're only fifty dollars, but they are absolutely beautiful statues. Which one are those? That's all these that are forty nine ninety nine. Oh, very Almost good. all of them. Uh huh. Are uh, yeah, full galleries and instead of cold cast ceramic, they're vinyl. Okay. So very good, very good. Cool. And you have a whole bunch of ones down here too. Let's make sure we get all those and more of these. Uh, Funko is what they're called, right? Yes. Funko. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh yes. So all sorts of Star Wars ones too. Is this the whole Star Wars section? This is the Star Wars section. Okay. Very important section. A lot of people like Star Wars, so that's good. <laughs> and I'll get a get a better picture of these too. So, all right. So you have these, and then you have some of your figurines, yep. and then um, looks like you have a bunch of cards here too. Tell me yes, about all uh, these. We primarily do magic, and we're a commander, specifically a commander store. Uh, it's Magic the Gathering. Okay. So the game has been around since '94. Uh -huh. uh, we have, you know, single rares. We have packs that go all the way back to Return to Ravnica. Mm -hmm. It's a fairly old set. Uh huh. And, uh, we don't have much before that. Wow, that's what these is in this, this case is all, too. All magic, all magic back here. Oh wow. Okay. Very good. Very good. So, and all of these, and then what are like you have some pins and stuff too? Oh, these are some old uh, kind of participation prizes that we found when we moved. Oh, been okay. Lost, and so <laughs> they're probably from the early 2000s, I would think. Oh, cool. So that's kind of a nice collector item as well, yep. isn't it? All right. And what do you have down here and in here this case? There's a mix of other things, Pokemon, a lot of dice for role-playing games. Mm-hmm. We have smaller kind of card and board games. Mm -hmm. We have some individual D&D figures. And then some higher-end comics are in the case here. Oh, okay. So these are ones that are a little bit more, are they more rare or? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Very good. All right. Well, take me on a little tour of your okay. cool store and show me around a little bit. I've I've been in here several times that you haven't really told me everything there is that you have. <laughs> the graphic novels here. Mm -hmm. uh, they are mostly collected, six to twelve issues from comic books, so you get the whole story in one book. Okay. And then we have our more what we are assuming the, the more popular new comics still on the front here. Okay. How often do you get new comic books? Is there usually a time release on things there, like that? Every week. DCs right now release on Tuesday. Okay. And everything else releases on uh, Wednesday. Okay. So, so. You, do you get those right away on Tuesday? Yes. Okay. Yes. 
All right, so there you go, comic book fans. Now you have the inside scoop when he puts them on the shelf. You probably all really knew that. <laughs> The rest of the new comics go on the, these white shelves along here. Okay. And along the back there. And then nice. for our back stock, Silver Age starts kind of down here. And older, nicer stuff goes around. Mm -hmm. And then more common back stock. This is our independence uh, groups. Then over here on this side we have DC. And on the far side we have Marvel. Okay. So you have them kind of sectioned out into. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So easier and to find. Inside the their own designations they are alphabetical so oh okay should be easy to find well good all right let's see what you have back here right now for christmas we have some vintage gi joe toys and things out very cool oh my gosh okay and this is we do work Look with local this. artists and so this is a local artist uh, nick gaddy on toys that oh wow repaints those things those are really neat he lives here in omaha yes he does yeah very cool and then these trades are the weirder things that unique. We don't know what else to put them. <laughs> They're the unique They're things. The unique thing, yeah. Very good. But that's is, really good though, because if you're looking for something unique for a gift or anything, this might be, yeah. you know, if somebody's interested in this, this would be something yeah, for them to look at. This is kind of more vintage toys. Uh-huh. Uh, kids' comics here. Okay. Star Wars comics all down there. It's a mix of Dark Horse Marvel mm -hmm. and including the old Marvel. Huh. So, like, are these older ones? Like, when you say vintage, that yeah, have these people are, have like, traded? Old. Some of these are new. They're for, but they're mostly for kids. Oh, okay. Yeah, these are old ones. We buy collections. Mm -hmm. and oh, gotcha. Okay, so you buy some collections stuff. too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. very good. Very good. Okay. And then, Let's see. You want to go down this way first? Oops. Posters. And then these are sets of comics that you mm -hmm. can buy a trade, or you can, if we have them, a complete set. Mm -hmm. We have sets there, and this is also this is all sets. Okay. Wow. Do you sell t-shirts and stuff too? I see the t-shirts on the yeah. wall. So very good. Are those um, just the ones that you have in stock? And then, yeah. okay. Yeah. So if somebody needs this particular size, it is what it is, what you, what you have it's on the wall. Have, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Very cool. You have a nice selection of those too. And some more figurines up here. Yeah. Very good. Oh, Deadpool. I knew Deadpool. <laughs> very good. Oh, okay. And more toys we brought in. Mm -hmm. The season. Very good. And then this is board games, and they're sort of divided a little bit by like deck building and kind of odd stuff. Okay. And then it goes around this way, and here's the some more games, newer, more complicated games. Okay. Um, well, pre-COVID, you used to do like some game nights and yeah, stuff, we right? Used to have, uh, we could get. Four. I think we have eight tables. We could oh my have. gosh! Yes. But. Uh, Obviously, COVID has changed that part of it as well. Yeah, so, limited, I think twelve people in the store. Oh, okay. Or Fifteen, including employees, or something like that. Gotcha. Okay. So we don't have a lot of big games anymore. Nope, nope. But hopefully, after COVID has ran its course, and we can get back to that. So that's good. Yep. Very good. The other thing that's back here is this. Okay, let's see what you got over here. This is our fifth edition Dungeons and Dragons. Oh stuff, wow! Which okay. Of course, is popular but we don't have any groups playing right now because mm. that needs to be you know six or eight people crowded around a table right and nobody's doing it right right uh, <laughs> so but so if your family's into this though this is yeah, a great place absolutely. that you can come and pick up a few things and do it you know safely at home yeah. with your family yeah, we people are staying home a lot more have you noticed that people kind of coming in and grabbing different yes. things to do yeah, at home absolutely. now okay yeah and so when we have like starter sets which mm -hmm. gets you involved or just dives right in okay very and good. I happily talk with anybody about Dungeons and Dragons. Yes. So, <laughs> come on in. Very good. Very good. Okay. I'm gonna. All right. We're gonna continue our tour to the game area. Wow! Look at this place. Look how cool this is. I need to back up a little bit so you can see how neat it is. So Andrew, what all do you do? What kind? Of, what what do you do back here mostly? Mostly anymore, it's small groups of magic players. Mm -hmm. uh, that's about all right now. But before we supposed to do Dungeons and Dragons, we did Pathfinder, Magic, and Pokemon mainly. Oh, fun! And uh, we do sanitize our tables, but we have a hard limit of twelve people back here. Right. So if somebody does want to come, they can have twelve people and do it safely. Yes. Very good. Very good. Let's let's see how cool this is. We have it decorated really cool too. Oh, what a fun atmosphere to come play a game at. So I guess if you want to get out of the house and 
um, have a change of scenery, this would be a great safe place to do it because there's a lot of space back.